People who let their mom count to zero. What happened after? Everything goes black and the last thing I see is my mother's slipper speeding toward me. It's funny how they can make getting hit by fuzzy pink slipper feel like getting hit by a Mack truck. Alright. I'm coming in late here but this reminded me of the time I went the distance with my mom. My whole life we've rarely argued, and during my entire upbringing we only had a few actual fights, all of which were 100% my fault. The point I'm making is that my mom is a really sweet, genuine person who did an amazing job raising two boys on her own. When I was 12 I had a bad day and got home in a mood. I wasn't quite looking for a fight per se, but I was being a crabby, snappy, negative jerk. Mom put up with it for a while and then had enough. I can't recall a catalyst, but she wanted me to do something and I refused. So the count came, 3, 2, and I interjected, 1, bitch. There was a stunned silence for a moment, and then she looked at me with rage in her eyes. I I I'm sore I I I I. I pleaded but I had crossed a line and punishment was coming. She moved so fast, like a blur, and I was frozen. I was taller than her, but she scooped me up thrust me in a chair, and told me to, wait there. Her voice had both ice and heat, how is that possible? She came back with a bar of ivory soap which she jammed into my mouth. It was gross, with high notes of bitter soap taste, but also a strange sickly sweetness that made me want to gag. And that's how I know that drive. Pepper tastes like ribitacin with ivory soap, a splash of prune juice and carbonated water. I think I got grounded as well, but the fear she instilled really did the trick. I once said a bad word, can't remember what, but she was mad, and she said go to my bathroom, so I could think about what I had done. Once she came back she took out a toothbrush, and put a good amount of hand soap on it then said I had to brush for 2 minutes. The worst 2 minutes ever. She was bluffing. But only the first time. Well if the comment section is any hint of what happened. She was counting again, so you won't run away as she grabbed the wooden spoon. Oh man. I'm old now, but that brings back an old memory. When I was born I already had 5 older brothers and mom had an 8 year break from having children. Then surprise. Nibbles McJiblet came along. As the only girl. I sometimes heard stories of how bad my brothers had been when they were my age. Probably told to keep me from getting into similar trouble. And I definitely remember my mom saying the only time she ever used anything to spank any of us. It was a wooden spoon on my second to oldest brother. Apparently it broke as she spanked him with it, he was a teen, and it left a mark and she vowed not to do that to any of the other kids for any reason. And then didn't. Until he had hair down to my butt and was the only girl. And at one point I thought that brushing my hair with a round brush would make it curly. No. It made it tangled. My mom spent a couple of hours working that knot out and then swatted me with the brush. Edited to add, to the person who thought it was appropriate to call my daily loved, and now deceased mother disgusting. Go talk to your own mother that way, if you really feel that is appropriate. But keep your opinions of my mother out of it. She did a great job raising six kids all by herself after our father died. The same way she swatted me with the brush, is the same way that, if we told her a funny joke she might swat us on the shoulder with her hand while laughing. A swat is not a slap. A hit. A punch or a spank. It's a swat. Grow up and quit being so cruel. There's no benefit for anyone that comes from you disrespecting my dead mother. Instead maybe go call your own mom, or give her a hug, and tell her you love her. Turn that frown upside down, and get out of your miserable head and spread some joy to her while you can. My mom's done this to my brother, he had no countdown but was pre-warned. Forgot what he did, but it was hilarious then I laughed some more as she projectiled the brush at him. It hit him, and broke back then my brother was granny's favorite, so he threatened to tell my gran my mum tried to call his bluff saying he wouldn't, when he did my gran went what did you do to piss her off to deserve it ha. Huh? Now he's 26 he torments the crap out of our mum, so she just goes to find the brush, and he runs off. Now he's 26 he torments the crap out of our mum, so she just goes to find the brush, and he runs off. This is hilarious Lmao thanks for sharing. I had my sister's Hello Kitty belt imprint left on my ass. I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> Tried it once. She gave a defeated sigh. Then chuckled. Then she said something like, You're getting too old. 
That was the day I became a man. I'll never forget my 32nd birthday. I'm gonna count again. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and a half, 1 and a quarter, 1 and 1 eighths. Oh bless you. I'd forgotten I played that game with my parents. The first time I heard. 2, 1 and a half, 1 and a quarter. I asked why the numbers weren't getting smaller anymore. And got my first fraction lesson. That time it was an effective tool, because I was so fascinated by the concept of fractions that I stopped fighting leaving the pool. The game was a reward of sorts. When I thought I'd been good enough to get an extra minute before bed, in the bath, etc. After mom or dad got to two, I'd say, one and a half, I didn't always get to play. On days when we had a minute to spare and I'd behaved, the response was, one and a quarter, and the game was on. We went back and forth, saying a number smaller than the one before. When I messed up and accidentally went up numerically, the game was over, and I had to do whatever it was they were counting for. They made it harder as I got older, jumping random intervals. But they stopped when I finally completely understood fractions and could go on for hours. Dad later used the game to teach me how negative numbers work, but I caught on to that one quickly. Number games like that are also fun in the car. I love short stories about personal experiences. Super cute sounding family congrats. And here I wondered why they didn't just think about that in their head. Two completely different perspectives, I suppose. She started counting to negative numbers. I think mine did fractions. One half. One quarter. Apostrophe. So she never reached zero? Zeno's paradox. Zeno's parenting. That countdown is stopping us from ever reaching the truth. Half of my respiratory organs were destroyed. Plus ULTRA carrot. Go beyond. Detroit. Hacking cough. You may have heard these words before. This is Reddit. Not a Ouija board. H. E. I'll never know. She got to 7 and. Being the resident smartest I said oh cool. Showing off again. Mom. That went real well for me. She reset me to the factory settings. A hard reset as we called it. I can physically feel pain just reading these comments. Not my mother. Because she rarely disciplined me and my siblings. But my grandma. Oh no oh. When I went to zero. I got her classic little old Asian lady move. A sock filled with pennies thrown at me at speeds I never thought possible. Shit hurt it. Every time your kids swear, out a penny in your sock and soon you'll have a weapon to be. No it was put a quarter in your no yelling sock. One of my top favorite vines. Just went down memory lane thanks to that comment. So many good vines. Bold of you to assume that they are alive to tell their story. The chase of a lifetime that ended in a red hot posterior. She was paddling me with a small handled wooden cutting board but it split along the grain and I made the mistake of laughing so she grabbed a wooden spoon my grandma got so very pissed a couple of my cousins once that she started throwing whatever she could get her hands on shoes spoons brushes but they were dancing around so much trying to dodge that they burst out laughing this only pissed her off more and their brother decided to help her out by bringing the stuff she threw back to her so she never ran out of ammo but this only made them laugh harder while simultaneously yelling at him to stop they reached a stalemate when they all got tired to carry on remember how grandma would use to play the dodging game with us if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball grandma if you can dodge me you're in trouble apostrophe she yelled my name real loud. And daddy said why don't you ever do that for me? You are the reason why I'm now cleaning juice off of my table. Fucking snorted so hard got him. For some reason I pictured you with a juicer box with a little straw. Also I kind of want a juice box now those things were rad. The chancler. I wonder how la chancler became such a universal tool of punishment for hispanic kids. Behold. The secret of La Chancla, https slash slash www youtube com slash watch v equals psicdnahj7o.